new world order. U.S. NATO launched new proxy war front in Crimea, neo-Nazis bomb electrical grid causing national blackouts. In 2014, U.S. and EU installed its own hand-picked puppet regime in Kiev, Ukraine. This caused a chain of epic failures that have made many ardent cheerleaders for regime change to question whether or not tipping over the elected government in 2014 was a very good idea. The worst part of the whole operation was that the U.S. and the European Union central planners thought it prudent to activate and partner with neo-Nazis and proto-fascist militants in order to achieve their short-term regime change goals. Once the coup d'etat had taken place in February 2014, Western agents of change were stuck with a horrific political Frankenstein they had created. While the battles have been raging in Syria and elsewhere, Few in the West have been aware that the architects of instability have been busy opening up a new front for proxy asymmetric warfare in Crimea. To add to the shock and awe, Western agents have brought together two of the worst groups of miscreants the world has ever known. Counterpunch reports on the Western media and government collusion in recent attacks on Crimea. Ever since the maiden coup of February... 2014, Western media and governments have all but incited violent actions by extremists against the Crimean people. Unknown to people in the West is the aforementioned food transport blockade ongoing since September 20th. Western media has self-censored reports of that, including the central role played by the neo-Nazi right sector group. That's not all. Ever since then, Crimea has been the focal point of the NATO strategic offensive against Russia in the region. Most disturbingly, recently a Gladio-style terror campaign seems to have targeted Crimea, and like clockwork, Western media outlets in the process of inventing a tidy narrative in order to package what is clearly a new campaign of terror that's currently being unleashed in the region. And where is all this leading to? Chaos. It already is, but it's going to get more and more chaotic, branching off into a war, eventually, it looks like. And what's going to happen after that? Satan's going to be cast out of heaven along with his angels. Does that sound crazy? Well, wait and see. You'll find out for yourself. I assure you, that's what's going to happen. At the beginning of a five-month-long period, it's called the Hour of Temptation, that's when the One World Government finally emerges. It won't come in the midst of wars and rumors of wars. It will come with a one world government, a peace system, a political system. And then that one world government that you can read of in Revelation 13, go to mark13records.com and you'll have the entire chapter broken down for you. That one world government receives a deadly wound and then Satan appears as the false Christ, the Antichrist, in the middle of the five month long hour of temptation at the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet and the sixth vial. You ever wonder what 666 means? Well, now you know. And after that, and only after that, after that five-month-long hour of temptation, the true Christ, Jesus, will return at the seventh trumpet, and then will be changed into spiritual bodies. So you can't miss that. So the point is, don't be deceived. Don't receive the mark of the beast in your forehead, which is the deception, but rather the seal of God that you acquire by studying your Father's Word chapter by chapter and verse by verse. This is a good place to watch and learn.